sure, you can play with that stuff. <laughs> uh, but don't ride the unicycle without a helmet. Great stuff. Let's get to work. <laughs> Betsy, Aunt Margaret says to be home for dinner in an hour. Holy cow! We made our own mini golf course! You want to play? Okay. In our game, each hole uses a special club. Yeah! <laughs> You'll never get it through there. You kept hitting the windmill yesterday. If George can do that, I'm gonna break all my golf records on this easy course. <laughs> oh, George, thanks, but I really don't need help on this. Uh -huh. Are you keeping track of your score on this easy course, Steve? Oh, yes. Okay, on the first hole, George got a one. Lucky. Betsy got a six, and I got a six. The club for this hole, please. Here we go. <laughs> oh, 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 my first ever! <laughs> Looks like I'm going for the record, too. Okay, here comes my hole in one. scores ever on this course. Yeah, so? They're still the best. What's the club for the last hole? <laughs> no club. It's a blowhole. Get it? Whale? Blowhole? <gasps> okay. Going around. And the house? <laughs> At the end of the game, I have 40, and Betsy has 25, and George got a 21? <laughs> I told you you'd play better when you knew the rules. I'm sorry. I said monkeys shouldn't play golf. You guys want to play real mini golf tomorrow? <laughs> Thanks, but I think we like this better. Oh. Can I play again with you tomorrow? Maybe George can help me improve my game. <laughs> George wondered what a rubber band would grow into. 
Or a feather. George was going to grow all kinds of exciting things. The man with the yellow hat hadn't finished his speech. George could grow the rest for him. Blah, blah, dee, blah, bleed, dee, bleed, blue, blah, blah. Ooh. Thank you. This would be the best speech ever. Mm. Hi, jo Have you been just sitting there waiting for me the whole time? Oh. You weren't just sitting there waiting for me the whole time. Oh. When the man looked like that, it meant George was about to hear a long lecture. So, you see? Seeds, nuts, acorns grow. My socks, the radio, the can opener don't grow. <laughs> okay, now, we have to dig up all those things you buried. <laughs> oh. Oh. George, where's my speech? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have to dig up my speech first. <laughs> Unlike Jumpy Squirrel, George didn't know how to find what he wanted. Everything smelled like dirt. <laughs> hey, you dig in a swimming pool? Uh, oh, no, Bill. Uh, George was being a squirrel and buried my speech. We can't find it. Well, I'll help. <gasps> Wait, I know someone who can really help. She's a great digger. No speech here. Oh, digging a pool there, are you? George buried something and we're trying to find it. Well, I've got a metal detector I use to find coins and such down by the lake. Maybe that'll help. Cool. Uh, well, my speech isn't exactly made of... Well, no. Ahoy! <gasps> Maybe it's what you're looking for. No, my speech isn't made of me Ooh! Are they pirate keys? Uh, could be. Maybe to a treasure chest. Oh, uh, no. We're, we're not going to find my speech, and I can't rewrite it in time. I'll just have to skip the tribute. <laughs> <laughs> George didn't have the talents of a squirrel, but he did have the talents of a monkey, which meant he could see really well. <laughs> you found it! The speech! Well, that's not made of metal. This is the air that inspired that wonderful speech. Are you planting something? <laughs> it's a long story. Oh. That's not a peanut. Looks like something you buried is growing. <laughs> Maybe you are a little bit squirrel after all. Being a dog, Hunley had tasted a lot of tennis balls. But these were the first that ever tasted like 
ink? These were the valuable balls the doorman promised to protect. <laughs> Hunley couldn't stop George from opening boxes that he thought belonged to him. But he knew how to play defense. It was tough for George to guess who sent all this stuff to him. There's a monkey and a wiener dog at the door. <gasps> Those careless delivery guys. If any of my balls aren't properly packed, I'm going to be very upset. Now George understood. These boxes belonged here, and the delivery man gave them to George by mistake. I'll be down to check every last one as soon as I'm off the phone. They had to clean up before the ball collector came downstairs. All they had to do was put the balls back into the right boxes. How hard could that be? Sometimes things don't fit when they look like they should. Or they fit in more than one place. <laughs> but there's only one place they really belong. And once you figure that out, it's easy. Even if you're a monkey. Hunley showed George how to lay them flat. <laughs> they did it. All the balls were back where they started. Kind of. Like they're all here. Oh, even the priceless Andy Turkey Rolly perfect score bowling ball. <sighs> I'm back. Huh? Is everything okay? My delivery came. Your dog and monkey took care of everything. That's great. Thank you, Hundley. Thank you, George. It's nice to know Hundley has help keeping the place clean and organized. George, would you like to help Hundley again tomorrow morning? You can be my official door monkey. I won't be here, and tomorrow is water delivery day. <laughs> no one wanted to go in there. Maybe there was another way.
<laughs> there was no way George's arm could ever reach the bottom of that hole. <laughs> Hi, have you seen George? I sent him to the store a while ago and... Store? I saw him running past the store down the street. Oh, the construction site's that way. I hope he's being a good little monkey. This wasn't as easy as it looked. to be a machine for this. Inspected every girder last night, and I can't find the problem. Well, the only way to be safe is to tear it down and start all over. Otherwise, a big wind or strong shaking might make the whole thing fall down. Watch that sound. Hey, 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 stop that! The site's closed! This site isn't safe. I'll turn off that jackhammer. <laughs> Look, a broken water main. That's what weakened the foundation. It was hidden. George had nothing to do with this. Mm -hmm. I am so sorry. I didn't know one monkey could knock over a building. Can I pay for lunch? No, George didn't cause that. That side of the building was unsafe. Now I'll have to knock it down and start all over. No, you don't. We can save the whole thing by changing the design. Hmm. Very angular, modern, and it would save money! I love it! How can I thank you? I know! Here! Well, what are we waiting for? We'll bring back blueberry waffles for everyone. <laughs> and that's how Curious George helped design a building. And got blueberry waffles, too. <laughs> 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 